Three weeks ago, I introduced an F1 Buckfast Queen from Black Mountain Honey into this colony here, and I made sure that I chose the smallest queen in the cage. Now, I often get phone calls, I often get emails with people saying, the queen that you sent me is just way too small. It's a tiny little queen in the cage, and it's just a little bit bigger than the attendant. There must be something wrong. And I tell them exactly the same thing every time, and this is the reason that I'm doing this video. When a queen with a long abdomen is in a cage, she doesn't have a lot of space in there. It's really confined, they may be a little bit stressed out, and she can't move and maneuver very well. Now what mated queens do in this scenario is that they shrink the size of their abdomen down as much as they possibly can. They have an amazing ability to be able to shrink it and lengthen it on demand. They obviously lengthen it when they need to be able to get their abdomen down to the bottom of a cell to lay an egg. When they're in a cage, there's no need for their abdomen to be that long. Now, not all queens do it, but I would say maybe in 30 or 40% of cases, the queen will shrink their abdomen down. Now, if I rewind to three or four weeks ago now, you will see the queen that was in the cage was a very small queen. I chose the smallest one out of the batch because I knew that three or four weeks later, I'd be able to show you the difference really, really well. That's what I'm going to do in this video today. So you've seen the original queen there in the cage. Small queen, not that much bigger than the attendants. I'm going to go through this colony now and I'm going to find the queen. I'll show you some of the brood as well. Really nice, calm temperament bees. But wait till you see the size of this queen in terms of a comparison from when she went in only three weeks ago. So first up, let me show you some of the work that she's been doing. Lots and lots of brood in here. The colony was hopelessly queenless and there's about seven or eight frames of brood in here now. Really nice, calm bees. And again, a beautiful frame of brood, lovely laying pattern. Stores and necks are coming in here as well now. A successful introduction has definitely taken place. So see if you can spot the queen on that frame there. Absolutely slap bang in the middle on the center. So you can see her on there, fully lengthened abdomen. Not fussed at all about me working her. She is just intent on going out and laying some eggs. Beautiful green marked F1 Buckfast Queen from Black Mountain Honey. If you're looking in your cages and you're thinking, what is going on? This queen looks small. Get her into your colony, introduce her, get her back to laying, and you will see that abdomen literally double in size within a couple of weeks. 